Hey everyone, uh, today I am here with James from Mon Tactical. As you guys have probably seen before, I used a stencil pack from him on that uh, Norse mythology themed SBR that I did. Um, really big fan of it. I did it rattle can, um, but you have been doing uh, Duracoat for yeah, a couple yep. of years now, right? Yeah, yeah, we offer Duracoat and a Cerakote, prefer Duracoat, but uh, yeah, good products and do a lot of coating stuff. So we got the stencils out there and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you had a really cool project there with that. Yeah, and with his uh, coating stuff, you guys have probably seen it all over the place. It's been in magazines, uh, it's in product catalogs. Uh, the Haas USMC had a Spike Tactical Crusader that yep. was totally done up, that was put everywhere just because of how yeah, gorgeous it was. That one did blow up. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, but um, the, the gun itself and the coating on it held up great. And really the first time I got exposed to it, um, the Haas USMC had a Spikes 37mm grenade launcher, mm -hmm. or flare launcher, excuse me, um, that he had you paint. And he ran it through a ton of classes and he came back to Oregon and I was looking at it and he showed me the video of all the stuff he ran through it with and the paint job was still there, totally fine, no chipping, no scratches. And uh, first of all, it showed what Duracoat can do, but yeah. second of all, it showed what kind of quality of work you do. Well, thank you. Yeah, that one went through, uh, I believe, some contractor classes. Kind yeah. Of to hell and back, yeah. Yeah, like multi-day, multi, multiple multi-day classes right, and right. it came out just fine. So on top of doing the coatings yourself, you, start, you now have Freedom Stencils, which yep. is the stencil uh, kind of offshoot, which, so if you guys want to do your own coatings or paint jobs like I do with my spray paint, you have camouflage, you have different uh, military themed stuff, you have Norse themed stuff, you have pretty much yeah, everything. Yeah, all, all kinds of themes, yeah. We hit all the different cultures, pop culture, all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So all the popular like emblems and symbols people want, it's mm -hmm. it's available there. And we take custom, so if people are looking for stuff, they can hit us up pretty easily. There's a little form through their website, super easy ordering process, and uh, yeah, well, it's doing really well. Yeah, and, and then on top of that too, if you do want to do the coatings yourself, or you do want to use those stencils yourself, you have several videos showing the process Absolutely. of applying the stencils and then actually doing the coatings, right? Yeah, yeah. you can go to our YouTube channel. We have tons of videos on there. And then also like all the ones that we've done on specific product, like uh, camouflage, like BDU or mm -hmm. Cryptek or something, those videos are also on the website. So you, you go to buy the product, you can watch the video and it lays out exactly the steps to do it. So it's super easy. Right. So all that to say, this is the stuff that we've already known about and hopefully you've already seen on my <laughs> YouTube channel. However, very recently, you started doing something new that really caught my attention. Okay. And uh, it's Border Pine Industries. Border Pine Industries, yes. And uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and roll the one that I have in my hand right in front of the camera here. Uh, this is a laser etched Glock that you guys did. So Correct. can you talk about the process a little bit? So what we do is actually take the frame and slide completely apart. That's a complete disassembly. <clears throat> the texture is removed from the frame and we laser stipple our texture on. And as you can see, the ones being shown, that is a laser um, or a themed pattern. So that's our Spartan pattern. And then the slide is laser engraved. And all of our mm -hmm. theme pieces have a four location slide engraving. So this is the two sides and the two locations on top. And then uh, the whole thing is coated and Sweet. reassembled. So the slides are parkerized before the coating is applied. So it's all done, you know, as professionally as possible. Uh, and like you just showed on that one, we did the barrel wrap as well. So we offer all this stuff individually as well um, on, on all of our pattern pieces. You can just send in your barrels to be laser engraved. You can just send in your slides. You can just send in your frames, what have you. So there's different package offerings and we have tons of different patterns that we're coming out with. And like you say, there's, the theme pieces are the coolest. That's the, that's the really unique factor. On that one, you can see the Sparty yeah, so yeah. kind of fighting on the side there. And we're focusing on like that history, sophistication, kind of culture thing. Mm -hmm. So not so much pop culture. You know, there's enough Spartan, or I'm um, sorry, enough uh, Punisher and, you know, Joker stuff out there. But right. uh, we want to really tap into the, you know, the history side of things and kind of bring a new, uh, I guess, niche to the market. So uh, like this, this is our Crusader here. It says uh, in hoc signal vincis on the side. I think that's how you pronounce it anyways. Um, <laughs> in this sign thou shalt conquer. Um, and so Crusader and Spartan were our first theme pieces. Uh, we're working on, at the time we're shooting this video, we're working on Celtic and Viking as our next uh, potentials. We've got some good, really good ideas and design concepts for that. And uh, yeah, so it's going very cool. And yeah, we don't have a, a Crusader themed barrel yet, mm -hmm. but working on that, if you've got ideas, what's up? <laughs> but, um, and we're probably going to be offering um, some of these with some different sites options and things. Okay. So we worked with some people at SHOT Show here on that. Um, 
And so this works in two ways. You can send your gun in. You can go to our website, buy the service. It takes you right through the process to ship your gun to us. We're an FFL, you can ship direct, we can ship direct right back. And uh, we do the whole service. We have an extremely fast turnaround, very competitive rates. And uh, yeah, you get your gun back really very unique. And then the other option is that one-offs that we have done in the shop are available on our website already complete. So. That's one option. It so. really wants to focus on your face. It must be Does very, it? very handsome. No, sorry, no, you're guys. good. It's just you're too handsome for this oh, camera. Man. No, that, that gun needs to focus for sure. So that one's called reticulation. Again, this is kind of a, just a nice repeating pattern that adds some you know class to your gun. So. And even got it on the barrel up there. And these are all offered in different with multiple color options. We have a lot of color options available on sites. So when you pick your pattern, you can pick a different color and go. So it kind of makes it really nice to give you that customizability. So. Yeah. Well, one of the things that was really exciting to me, seeing especially like that Spartan one that I just handed back to him, and uh, just a lot of the other ones we've looked at, is just the level of detail that you're able to get with that laser engraving. Absolutely. Because again, when you're looking at the, the Spartans fighting on the side of there, like, it's very clear what's going on. It doesn't look like some, you know, hand dremeled on mess or anything right, like right. that. Um, it's just a, a gorgeous design, I think. And I'd seen pictures online on social media, on Instagram and all that, and I kind of had a, what I thought was an idea of like, okay, well, I, I know what that looks like. Eh, seems cool. But actually seeing them in your hand and seeing like the right. depth and the texturing and all that uh, just adds a whole nother level yeah, to it. Yeah, and it's it's a deep engraving and it, it's they're slow passes. So it's uh, it's many, many passes of, of laser engraving to create mm -hmm. that depth. And that's how you're able to get that multiple or that uh, meticulous detail. So yeah, there's some really cool things we can do um, to these guns. And a lot of people kind of different, you know, conversations come up on it you know um what all can you do and you know sky's really limit um, a lot of design goes into each one so it does take a lot of time so custom one-offs probably not um you know we're not opposed to it but not so much in the immediate future probably um just because probably not gonna be willing or wanting to pay the setup for that <laughs> but um yeah we have we're definitely up for suggestions and um one thing I would like to talk about real quick on is the laser stippling process. Mm, mm -hmm. It's very competitive rates, cheaper than most stippling uh, options out there. And what's very unique about it is it gives you kind of two flat planes of, surf, of, uh, of surface there that are really, mm -hmm. they're just smooth, two smooth levels essentially. So for everyday carry, that's really practical. A lot of people don't think about that, but your grip retention comes from the front and the back. And you actually, when you squeeze that grip, create kind of a cup here. So your outer texture doesn't really help you that much. Right. It's the inner texture when you stack your thumbs that you get a little bit of added, you know, if you have like slippery hands, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, my, if my hands are bloody. Okay, I'll, I'll hear you. Yes, that'll help a little bit. Um, but where it really becomes beneficial is comfort for everyday carry. My, my everyday carry, you felt it before you did the video, mm -hmm. the outside is still pretty factory texture, the inside's wearing. So depending on what gun you're, you carry, uh, that could be a thing, you know, it may not be super comfortable. And this really gives you the comfort and the aesthetics. Yeah, and like you said, we were kind of talking about it a little bit before we started filming. And I was telling him, even though my most viewed video is a stippling tutorial video, mm -hmm. and I've done a lot of stippling, I haven't stippled my everyday carry Glock 19 because of the comfort issue with it rubbing it against your skin and then even on the side that's not on your skin it grabs onto your shirt it lifts up now you, right. everyone knows you have a gun um but as you're saying with these it's it's smooth to the point where it's not going to rub against your skin but there is still the recessed areas from the laser etching recess so Good word. <laughs> yeah well you know or embossed i believe would Ooh, also be a yeah. word um it's so you're still getting if if you do have the bloody hands or whatever there's still those channels for that to be taken up so it's not like it's just a flat straight you know right. piece of plastic uh, so there's still that texture that you know will will kind of bite on right and I've heard people say too on these like with the deep engraving they're like man that really adds a nice texture for rack and slide mm -hmm. um, you know a lot of people get excited about front serrations and a lot of the manipulations you just do is from the from the port back really but uh, but it does it, it add, adds you can feel it on there it oh, no absolutely it definitely helps you grip it well, it's not something you would really think about with the engraving but it does yeah and that's that's one of the things that I was noticing with the uh, the Spartan one here is just with a flat hand not even pushing on the rear sight back here with a flat hand, I can lock it open no problem just because of the added texturing, yeah. which um, if, if all you do is go shoot on a bright sunny Sunday afternoon on a mm -hmm. poking holes in paper, that might sound like not a big deal, but if you ever have done any sort of, let's say more intense training where you're doing single-handed manipulations, you're having to rack it off your pant leg, after off your belt, whatever you're doing, having a little bit of extra texture on top is uh, definitely a, a pleasurable thing to have. Right, right. So, 
yeah, really cool stuff there. Um, like you said, pretty much sky's the limit as far as what, where you guys can go with this, right? Because uh, you know it's just whatever you can program into the laser and, and get it get yep. it done. Yeah, it's just a lot of setup time, so it's just kind of designing it. Um, a lot of people ask about different gun models. Right now we have the Glock 19s, so essentially Glock 23s as well. Um, really any mid size. Glock 26 is coming. You know we're just kind of resizing some things. Mm -hmm. uh, 17s and that you know 22s. Um, and then right now what is absolutely offered right now as of this moment we're filming this is also the Glock 43s, which mm -hmm. is very popular. And mm -hmm. we have yeah. A, 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 oops, I'm sorry. A Spartan and a Crusader here as well. So there you go. You got the and you can do the his and hers options. That's always a nice thing. Um, and then uh, as far as other gun uh, makers, uh, we're working uh, on possibly SIG and uh, Smith & Wesson as well. One of the things a lot of people ask about the laser stimming, they want this exact design and they'll give us you know, a random gun model. Uh, to, to do the laser stippling, certain polymers cannot be done. Uh, not to disrespect any companies, but cheaper polymers will just melt, so they have to be able to be vaporized by the laser. So uh, there are several gun models that can be done, and we're working on those and different design options for those. And different ones have different markings in different places, so you don't always have the same canvas to work with. So sure. you know, if your pistol has writing all down the side, you know, Smith and Wesson MMP 2.0 made in such and such and such <laughs> and such. There's not, not a lot of canvas without a magazine. Right. And, there's yeah. not a lot of canvas to work with. So so you gotta when you think up stuff that you're like, man, that would be really cool to have this done, and I want to email you. You know, definitely think about what can be done before you email us a little bit on that. But right. there is space to work with on a lot of guns, and Sig has been very friendly on that. I actually talked to them uh, yesterday at Shot Show here, 2018. And um, they've actually said that they thought about that in the 320 design, mm -hmm. as well as what's that new one? The 365. 365, their concealed carry. And you can see it in the design of those two guns. There's a lot of blank space on the slides, as well as the frames. They were very um, simple with their textures mm -hmm. to give you those options. So I'm really excited about that, and we're working with them to uh, to do some stuff to their frames and, and some slides. So we should have some good stuff coming for you SIG fans here soon. So. Awesome. Any anticipation of doing AR receivers or anything like that? Yep. Yep. Uh, okay. There's gonna be some AR goodies coming down the pipe and uh, we're not sure, not so sure uh, on barrels uh, in the immediate. That'll be probably a longer term, but definitely AR receivers and probably some stuff with hand guards. And uh, we're working with a couple other companies maybe to design some unique hand guards just for some of the packages we're working on. So a lot of stuff will be coming in the really near future, mm -hmm. uh, but we encourage you to check us out, borderpineindustries.com. Uh, follow on Instagram. We'll probably link all. Of oh them. yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so in, we're on Instagram, Facebook, and stuff. Um, and you can follow them on Tactical as well. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll be getting as we roll all that stuff out, and we'll get some stuff out to you too to play with and uh, and to showcase more. So as we get some of these new designs. So. Awesome. And one of the things I appreciate about their social media page is unlike some companies that you follow, who every now and then they might post a little something. You guys are really really active on there, posting we, we stuff try. all the time. So yeah. it's uh, a lot of gun porn, and it's it's. Very yeah, nice yeah we at. try. Yeah, and, and you know, because I've mentioned, we're focusing on that sophistication and culture. You know, right. so we're we're staging those out there a lot with a lot of unique things. And uh, and actually, we worked with some companies today that released some pretty cool products that fit right in that mold. So we should have some really unique gun porn coming in the future. So awesome. if you're if you're into that stuff, <laughs> yeah, it's the Instagram for you. Yeah, definitely, definitely check that out. Um, so again, I'm obviously like, as you said, I'm gonna have the link to the website down below as well as you know Montactical, Freedom Stencils, all that stuff, Thank you. Uh, the, all the social media pages. And I'll also have links to the stuff that I've done, like the paint video that I did with the uh, stencils. And pretty shortly after I get back from SHOT Show, because that's where we are right now, essentially, not in the convention yeah, yeah, center, yeah, yeah. obviously. But we're down in Vegas. As soon as I get back, I'm gonna be painting that 18 inch 223 Wild uh, build that I did using stuff from Freedom Stencils. So cool. um, you guys will see me use it. And if I can figure out how to use it, Anyone can figure well, out how to use it. And then, and then someday he's going to come out to uh, Montana and we're going to paint up some of his guns in the shop together, right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, especially once you get that uh, outdoor paradise that we yeah, were talking yeah. about Ooh, earlier. But, yeah, uh, yeah. But, you know, we'll, we'll tease that because uh, that's, you know, still in the works. Oh, but, a long uh, ways off, yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so again, check out the stuff below. James, thanks as thanks always. Thanks a lot. Always a good pleasure. Yeah, this guy, really Love good dude. So uh, we're absolutely happy to help get your stuff out there. So definitely check him out. Really good dude and uh, does really, really oh, awesome you. stuff. So anyway, I hope you're able to get something out of this video and I really appreciate you watching. Thanks guys.